G'day, I'm Alistair Christie, Embarcadero MVP, and I run the LearnDelphi.tv website. In this video, we're going to pretend that we've been handed a utility application, and we've been tasked to update the GUI to make it more responsive, and possibly improve the code. So we can start by having a little bit of a look around how this application works. And we see that there is a backup button, so let's see what that does. So it disables the button and deleting some old files and then backing up some something. So delete old files is for some folder, it's deleting all the zip files in it. And we have a look at here and we see the folder and I can tell this is my documents from this. So it's my documents slash Delphi backup and it's backing up some files. And we see it's basically zipping up some files with some folders and we see the folders here. So it's zipping up three folders into the uh, Delphi backup folder in my documents. So we can start by adding a activity indicator and we'll just size that something like so and check it beside the button like so. And I'll make it invisible initially And when we start, so we just make it visible and enable it so that it starts spinning. And at the end, we hide it and disable it. So if you run that, we'll see that that indicator doesn't even get to be displayed. And the application is frozen again. So we need to run things in a background thread. And to do that, just add a bookmark there and we'll go up and we will add system threading to our uses. Go back to the bookmark. And we want to run this chunk of code in a background thread. So we can call ttask.run and that takes an anonymous method. And the other thing we need to do is this is now running in a background thread. So we need to, we can't update the GUI from a different thread. So let's use tthread synchronize. And that will update our GUI from the main thread. And we'll also need to do that in the log method because these methods are being run in a background thread. And so uh, in Okay, so if we now run that and click back up, we see that the GUI is now being updated correctly and our backup is done, our button is enabled again, our activity was uh, operating and all our logging was happening during the execution rather than at the end. So our task is done, but uh, in looking at the code, we can probably tidy things up a bit. Um, this is horrible uh, Win32 code, which um, is, is fine, it works, but we can do better. So up here we can add system.ioutils, and what we can do is call tpath combine, and we want to combine the my documents folder, the get documents path, and this bit on the end and all of this can go so that's a little bit cleaner and then we see this delete old files um, again we can now uh, take advantage of system.ioutils we can call t directory.get files and we need a path and we can specify our zip now in addition to that uh, it returns an array of of string or T array of string. And if I press Control Shift V on that, and it doesn't quite work, but if we just get rid of like so. And then we can loop through those in a for for in loop. Okay, and what I'll also do is call tfile.delete and remove that PHR. Now 
In addition to that, we can use inline variables. So I can say var file names. So that's a little bit shorter, but what we can do is make it a little bit cleaner because Delphi knows that file names is of type T array of string. This is type inferencing. Uh, and so we can just do that. And likewise, I can say, now we didn't need that search rec, and file name can go. We're now declaring our variables inline, and we're taking advantage of type inferencing uh, to determine what type they are. And that makes that code a lot shorter and a lot easier to read. And the last thing, if we come up here, we see that backing up these three folders, this can be done in any order. So we could back them up in, in, in any order, or we could back them up all at the same time, which is what we'll do. We'll need a, an array of tasks. So create backup tasks. And we'll set its length to be three. And then we just need to assign tasks to it. So we're just uh, creating these tasks that are, uh, they start running immediately. And then we just wait for them all to finish. And then we update our GUI. And so let's run that. And back up. And we see that it actually runs quite a bit faster. So we're now starting all our backups and they all finish. So they're happening uh, asynchronously. And one final note. Is that if we come up, we no longer need our Windows units, uh, which means this now application is now cross-platform. So in theory, I could target it at Android and compile it. Of course, it's not going to be do anything useful because none of those folders will exist on Android. But it is now the the code itself uh, could now be reused on any of the available platforms. So that's all I wanted to demonstrate for this video. I hope you found it interesting.